Welcome back to Xeno Psychology class. Did everyone have a nice sabbatical? I'm just kidding, I don't care. Let's start with today's lesson. Last time, we discussed the Alps and their mentality of essentialism and core aspects. So today, we're going to discuss humanity. Now, everybody pay attention because this is the subject that most students have a lot of trouble with. It's very alien, but it's very important. Let me write some key words on the projector screen. Binary. Does anybody know what binary means? No? Figures. Bi, coming from the word for two in ancient human, binary means twofold. Everything in human mentality is based on the principle of positive versus negative. The most important words to learn when learning human language are yes and no. Words for denying and confirming respectively. The human mind divides everything in true or untrue. The instituted version of this is called logic. Write that down. I'm putting it on the screen for a reason. Logic is the process of using the concept positive and negative in meaningful ways. If A is true and B is untrue, then C is true. This is used for deductive reasoning. Dretz, put that thing away. I want you to write a five strong poem about logic for next cycle. Put it in your year planner. Where were we? All oh, right. So logic is used in deduction and reasoning, but it is also very important in the field of informatics. Computers are made with diodes, which can be either stressed or unstressed, positive or negative through complex patterns. These can be connected to form memory keepers and logic circuits. With this, all computers are made, all material and mechanical, everything we rely on, the AIs that keep our complex orderly, and the machinery that we use daily without thinking about it, is all originally invented by humans. That's why their influence is so big, and their frame of mind so important for us to understand, even after we exterminated them. This screen is projected by millions of tiny little lamps, which are either on or off, as is decided by the algorithms of the word processor. Let that philosophy sink into you for a moment. And if you want more detail on how computers work, there are a lot more tomes in the Mediathica about the subject.